I decided to start my video this morning while leaving the house because um, it just felt like it would be nicer. So basically, oh, to, today is really like okay. It's not cold. Like I wanted to say it's icy or snowy, but it's not snowy. That would be a lie. But it's icy. Yeah. So there's like eyes everywhere glasses um some of the bushy parts and stuff like that so basically um it's like eight states something i must have mentioned it before that my school organizes a bus that takes us to um adastral park where my classes hold yes so the bus leaves at 8 40. if you're not there it leaves so I'm trying to get there now because if not I have to you know pay my way to school and it's not expensive like that but I beg there is free bus so why miss it? Alright, let's go. hi you guys so i'm in class now and um like i said earlier my class is um in the afternoon so i can afford to do this right now before time i've been you know trying to go over stuff that we taught yesterday and i just said okay let me just take a few minutes and complete the recording so to precast interviews so basically um the precast interview is an interview organized by the school to determine like if you're eligible or if you qualify for them to sponsor you and that's that usually happens before they give you the cast i've mentioned the cast before in my other video but i'll just mention it again so the cast is um a confirmation of acceptance for studies that means they are confirming that they are accepting you to study with them and that they will sponsor you so if you don't get a cast from the school you cannot apply for visa to come on a student's on the student visa basically yes you cannot apply um for that so the way it works you do the precast then if you pass it the school might have other things they need you to do and then they give you what you need so for suffolk for the university of suffolk um after you've gotten your admission you've gotten your unconditional offer the next thing to do is actually the precast interview they do this before you are even required to pay your fees they do this they do that because they don't want you to um, maybe have already paid and then if you now fail the precast interview then you start asking for your money back or something like that no so they already know that at that point you've already qualified then when you now pay your fees show them your tb test and your proof of funds then they can give you your cars so it's I, I feel like that's even the best way because yes people do feel the precast interviews and i've seen um like i've been on groups where you know the students were now oh oh my god i need to ask for my money back i need to ask for my money back and imagine it takes longer than you're expecting to get your money back that means you might not be able to go to 
any school for that admission window anymore because you are reliant on that money but of course if you have other money you can progress with that while you wait to get your refund now what does the university of suffolk ask or what do other schools ask i'm going to you know um go over to the school's website so i can show you what they usually ask for or what they ask you and then we could just move with that and also to add something these um precast interviews are great because the ukvi can decide to do an interview for you before giving your visa if you've not done the precast interview and you've not prepared in any form or way you might not know how to answer some of the questions they are going to ask you and if you do not answer the questions they are going to ask you or you answer them wrongly they're going to deny you your visa yes another thing is that um the schools that do precast interviews they take it seriously because they do not want to drop points because you've been you know refused the visa so that's one of the reasons why schools try to do that not just for their own sake but to also prepare you ahead just in case the ukvi asks you for an interview so you can be prepared you know what to say and then if per adventure they deny you the visa because you answered wrongly the school will bring out your precast interview as proof that see you we did what we're supposed to do we did um our due diligence we tried to get this person on board but so yeah, basically that is just um, the sum of it. So just head over to the school website and um, we'll talk about what is required and um, um, the things you're going to be asked and other things basically. So All right, um, so this is the school's website and you can easily search for whatever it is you're looking for at any time. So I'm going to attach the link to um the actual page so you don't need to stress to do this but just in case you can always search up whatever it is you're looking for so if you search in credibility interview it's going to take you you know and give you some results and this is the page that you're interested in for the sake of this video i'm not exactly you know um going over everything but i would strongly suggest that you do that my focus is on the questions that you may be asked so but please try to go back and read everything as you can see, there are questions there like, why do you want to study in the UK? Why did you choose the University of Suffolk? Have you researched courses? Um, why did you choose your course? How is your course assessed? You, can, you guys can read all of these things, but basically they just want to know why you're choosing the UK, why you're choosing um, your school. They want to know um, about the course. They need to be sure that you have you know, understood it. Then they want to check why you how sorry how you are funding your studies not why how you are funding your studies they want to know about accommodations um stuff like that do you get they basically just want to know everything and to be sure that you are on the same page that they are on so i just wanted to show you on this side and then you know i'm just going to talk a little and talk some more over like questions that were asked and like answers i gave and like how you yourself can answer those questions or pointers that you should look out for especially if you're coming to the university of suffolk because they do take they are seriously they take it seriously it's not like it's difficult of course i did know someone that failed but like it's not as if it is meant to fail you it's just meant to assess your knowledge of this stuff and i mean you're supposed to know why you are coming here so yes um that is also the visas and immigration page which i'm trying to load and i would advise that you also read it read through everything there and just you know know what you're coming for know what you're about to do so okay enough of that um back to the video all right um enough of that so i'm just going to you know give pointers like um tell you things that they might expect to hear when they ask you questions say what they are actually asking you for example they ask you why are you choosing um the uk why are you coming to the uk to study you cannot just be telling them oh, you're coming to the uk because you have money you're coming to the uk because this no you need to show them and i mean it does not hurt to you know even prop them up it was very straightforward for me i mean i'm interested in the nhs because they have this health thing on lock and coming from a pharmacy background i'm interested in using data in health basically i just felt like the nhs was like a very good you know starting point so i just made sure to phrase my answer around how it is a conversion course which i cannot do like in my home country and um i'm interested in the nhs and if possible you know getting that experience with merging health and data together just you know just 
add this i can't remember my exact words i would have just said that but like basically that was what it was surrounding it does not help to to um does not hurt to add that the uk's i mean globally they're like maybe top two yes when it comes to education so just add all of that that is what they want to know now they ask you why are you choosing their school see there are a lot of things you should you can say on why you're choosing school but i would strongly advise that your first answer your immediate thoughts on why you're choosing a school should not your immediate answer remember i did not say you should not mention because it is a factor but your first thought should not be about the location that is what i genuinely feel because i remember there was someone that was asked why he wanted to go to greenwich and his first thoughts was because he wants to come to london so that is why you chose this school just because you want to come to like if you're in another school you can always travel down to london so why are you choosing a school because you want to go to london so you get stuff like that like mine was very easy it was the course modules i've said this in maybe two or three videos now i checked my course modules and i was pleased with university of suffolk's own and then i, I talked to the alumni um actually i just talked to one person so and um what he told me was enough to bring me here so that was how good what he told me was so when i was answering that question i made sure to tell them and then the digitech center where i'm filming this right now that was another factor for me and i mean i'm enjoying it i love being here like the um computers are so wide and i just love it so those are things that i mentioned i talked about digitech center i talked about um the course modules i talked about speaking to an alumni and getting very good reviews about the school then that was when i now added i also liked the location because it's not it's a town it's not a city so it's not big and it's not small things are happening in the town but at the same time things are not happening so it's it's just the perfect fit for me so those are things you can see then they ask you oh you need to learn about the accommodation they don't expect you to know everything you can just mention one or two accommodation providers that the school works with because the school actually does not have any accommodation of their own but you know they vetted some people so you can mention atina hall you can mention axo you don't need to know the exact um exact accommodation rent you can just give a range you can say oh um the rooms start at 150 to maybe 250 stuff like that you just need to know that you know where you're coming to and i would strongly suggest if you're coming for data science and ai it's not possible for you not to mention digitech center also when you're talking about the school there are questions they will ask you it's not possible for you not to mention waterfront building or the marina because that is like the central point of the school they can also ask you about facilities that the school has other than the one you're studying in for me now i mentioned the student life center because i mean a lot of things happen through there by the time you come and you must have seen it on the school's website too i mentioned the atrium building so things like that i mentioned the library they just want to know that you're conversant with the facilities the school has it's not that you just focused on only your own that is not why you're coming here so you need to you know make sure you know a lot of stuff happening around they can even ask you about um the town yes the like the town you are in they just want to know oh okay is anything thing, just whatever they can ask you but make sure you learn about accommodation you learn about facilities um you learn about your course the models they can ask you oh can you talk about some models you're interested in can you talk about the model you're most interested in can you talk about um the models you i even saw uh, or heard of someone that they asked like up to not the university of so far they asked him to mention all the models he was taking it's not even complicated i can mention all the models i'm going to take and the ones i've taken and the ones i'm taking right now it's actually not complicated so you can learn that but even if you don't learn everything just learn a couple of them you need to know um they can also ask you if you applied to other schools if yes why did you pick Suffolk over mine was very simple again cost models again review that was it for me because i did after after the people before i applied to a couple of other schools but i chose Suffolk because of those reasons so it was very simple so these things are not even things that i suppose you know weigh you down or things you're supposed to stress on but of course i understand that everybody is not um everybody does not um, taking information the same way so if you need to write it down if you need to note all these things and then just when they ask you answer them and see you need to be confident it's even written there on that side you need to be confident you need to be bold you need to answer well make sure you're in a place with a good connection make sure because if you fail it i know there are schools that give you another chance but i don't think university of suffolk does that if you fail the precast interview that is it they move on 
to other people i think that is what they do because i don't know anybody that had to redo it but please just be in a place with a good connection just stay there answer as honestly as well and like they are very decent it's not there were some people that maybe if you miss out a part if you were expecting to give more information somewhere and you give less if it is something that was not bad they will even send you a link writing and telling you the things to note so that you can answer better especially if you have a ukvi interview see that's what i like they are very supportive it's it's insane how supportive they are very very so don't overstress don't overdo just know you are coming here why are you coming here why have you chosen the uk why haven't chosen why have you chosen your school why have you chosen your course how does it factor into what you want to do in life these are questions that you're supposed to know the answer to because you're the one coming so i cannot even tell you why you've chosen your course you and i can be coming for the same course and i'll have a different reason for choosing mine over the reason you chose um you, that same course so things like that why why do you want to do data science what career aspiration do you have what do you want to work as do you and that question they asked me do you have any idea how much um people in your field in like when i talked about data science and they asked me okay um do you know what data science is in they asked me especially for like the nhs because i had mentioned that it was linked to why i came so they were like oh data science is in the nhs do you have any idea how much luckily i had a few days before i had just checked and i had seen something around a particular range so i just gave them that range and they were like oh okay good they will also ask you if you plan to go back to your country after i know a lot of people probably say you should tell them um you're going to go back to your country and um something something personally i did not say that i think the point is whatever you're saying you should have your back in and you should be confident and you should i just told them yes eventually i will go back to my country but like that is not like my focus right now my focus at this point in time is to you know do my one year program finish it take advantage of the two years post study visa yes and get experience valuable experience and in that place i mentioned again that if possible i would like to get that valuable experience with the nhs so they cannot like the opportunity for a post work visa is available to you so if you can back up why you may stay to do it nobody is going to say hey and eh, we're going to reject you for that they did not reject me for that i know most of my classmates said we're going back there were if other a few others too that said they were going to stay and gain some work experience and nobody you just need to know why you are staying you need to be confident you need to answer it honestly or say whatever it is i mean i'm coming for a conversion course i got a scholarship that is supposed to help with the course it's also um it, like um the course literally exists because they are trying to you know improve their numbers the numbers of data scientists they have the number of data analysts they have so it did not make sense to me that i would say i'm going back when i've not even gotten the experience i've not even contributed to the economy in any way i mean that is why they created the course they want people that would be able to you know bridge the gap they have in that sector so i was very fine with saying that i plan to gain experience so yes but of course this is left everybody is different if if you think you come back it up and you just want to go back just say that that is all right that is cool that's fine so basically i think like that is just it what they ask you or um, that's just what they ask you so you just need to know why you are coming here and um that is it just answer remember smile be bold be confident say the truth see as much as possible oh and that's they're going to ask you how you're funding i didn't talk about that even though i mentioned it before how you're funding so they want to know and this helps because later now especially like the university of suffolk they will now later ask you you know what um when it's time to show your proof of funds you will not go and bring a uh, proof of funds that your mommy's name is on it after telling them that you're done paying your fees if you know you're going to pay your fees yourself you can just tell them you're paying your fees if it is your mom or your dad or your if somebody is sponsoring you i would advise they should put it in your account if it is not that um your parents you get if it's not someone directly related to you or something they can put the money they should just transfer the money to your account that way you can tell them oh you are bringing some you have family contributing some but everything is all in your account and you will show them and that thing they can ask you about living cost and maintenance fees do you know how much you're supposed to have this is stuff you're supposed to know is even written right there on the website how much you're supposed to have how much you're supposed to show your the balance or your school fees and um your living costs 
or the balance thereof. Like I said, for University of Suffolk, it's after you pass your precast interview before you start paying school fees and the rest, paying cash deposit and the rest. Do you get? So these things are just very straightforward. And a good thing is they're very fast with their response. In fact, some people did their precast interview today, the next day they already knew if they were moving forward or if they had failed it. So it's very straightforward. If you do it and it's getting to three days, four days, and you've not heard, uh, heard back from them, I advise you to send a mail immediately and get feedback. I'm sure the September intake people will soon start their own precast interview because this is already January, so they probably start around that February, March or something. So um, I wish you guys the best. I wish you um, the best. Don't forget, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, ask. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your family members. And um, I look forward to seeing all of you that are going to come to the rest of Suffolk. And if you're just watching my channel because you just want to gain information and go somewhere else, that's perfectly fine too. And I wish you the best of luck. Um, I would have probably kept this video going on throughout the day. But by the time I'm leaving here after my class, it's going to be like 5 and it's usually dark at that point. So you're not even going to see anything anyway. So um, until later, guys. Bye.